Hi, I'm Bob with Rigid, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a 4-inch knockout with the RE6 electrical tool. First thing you'll need is the PH60B punch head and the draw stud from your kit. The PH60B is capable of making half the 4-inch knockouts in 12-gauge mild steel and 14-gauge stainless steel. It uses an industry standard 3-quarter inch draw stud and it's compatible with competitive knockouts. So once you've threaded your draw stud into your punch head, the next thing you'll need is a large capacity adapter. In order to make three and a half and four inch holes with the RE6, you'll need this adapter. Thread your large capacity adapter over your draw stud, then pick up the die side of your punch and place that over the large capacity adapter. Then you'll pick up your punch, feed your draw stud through your pilot hole, and thread your knockout onto the draw stud. Make sure it's snugged up to your material before you start your punch. One advantage of the PH60B is that you can mount the punch head and your knockouts to your material without having the tool attached. So once you're set up for your knockout, grab your RE6 and you need to pull back on the quick change system or QCS collar. Mount that to your PH60B punch head. Once it's securely on there, mount your battery to the tool, turn the tool on, and make your punch. On occasion, your RE6 may require a second cycle in order to complete your 4-inch punch. If it does not completely pull the knockout through the material, what you'll need to do is turn the tool off, remove your battery, pull back on the collar of the QCS, remove the tool, and place it on a stable surface. Then you'll need to thread your PH60B punch head further into your knockout, probably four to five turns. Then you pick up your RE6, pull back on the QCS collar, put it back onto your punch head, put your battery back on the tool, turn the tool on, and complete your punch.